go to the Capitol. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver is standing by with more on these big changes and the looming shuffle. Annie, a lot of moves happening before this shuffle. Break it all down for us and uh, what it means. Hi, Todd. Well, I think what it means is that this is going to be a lot more of a significant shuffle than perhaps people had initially anticipated. And I think what it's also showing is that the prime minister has likely already had conversations with ministers. It's no surprise that we've seen four cabinet ministers within the last 24 hours announce that they're not running in an election that we don't know when that's going to happen. Why now? Most likely because the prime minister, and we had heard some rumblings, had gone to cabinet ministers and said, look, I'm going to do a cabinet shuffle at some point. I need to know whether or not you're running again so that I can change up the cabinet if needed. And so I think that's why you're seeing these cabinet ministers announcing now ahead of a shuffle tomorrow, because they want to sort of get ahead of the news. They want to get ahead of questions about, oh, well, why was so-and-so demoted or removed from cabinet? Well, this is the answer. You know, if the transport minister isn't running again and is resigning from cabinet, that's why he is not in cabinet anymore. You know, then he doesn't have these questions to answer to tomorrow. And I wouldn't be surprised, Todd, if we see more ministers who come out today in advance of an expected cabinet shuffle tomorrow saying, I am not running again. And that, again, means that, you know, they're most likely going to be out of cabinet and means that we're going to have some new faces. So already we're seeing some pretty senior people. You know, you point out on this map, uh, Helena Jasic and Omar al Gabra, two pretty senior portfolios and important public services and procurement. Remember, that was the big Phoenix uh, portfolio as well. Minister of Transport deals with a lot with the airports. There are still some delays and issues there. So these are going to be two two ministers, potentially senior positions, or promotions for people who are currently in cabinet. The other two could also be, you know, spots for new faces to come in. But we also looking at this uh, photo here, have to realize that there's three GTA area MPs who are now no longer in cabinet. And so if the prime minister wants to try to keep this, you know, regional um, consistency, he's going to have to potentially find three other MPs to put into cabinet or move into cabinet who are from the GTA. We also have Joyce Murray, who I believe is from BC. So now you have an, a BC MP that you're going to have to find to move into cabinet. So uh, also three women who are no longer going to be in cabinet. So again, you have to make sure if the prime minister is going to stay consistent with equal numbers of men and women, there's three women who are leaving, which means you would need to bring three women into cabinet to keep it gender neutral or general parity. Yeah.